what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this super pretty nude blinged out sparkly set inspired by nails by celestia on instagram i created this set to match this bracelet that i received from best carrot jewelry if you guys have never heard of best carrot jewelry they make personalized jewelry with real moissanite stones they make rings necklaces earrings bracelets and even engagement rings so with every order you'll receive a thank you card along with a gift bag if you are giving this to a family member friend boyfriend girlfriend they have a little gift bag that you can put the jewelry in i really love how it's white and gold i think it's a really classy and pretty look so yeah this is what the bag looks like the jewelry also comes in a really nice box that is white and gold as well so the bracelet that i picked is called the interlocking heart eternal 925 sterling silver moissanite bracelet and as you can see to the right of the screen is a little clip of me wearing it but yeah i love the two like little rhinestone interlocking hearts they're super pretty um these are actually vvs1 as far as clarity goes um moissanite stones are the closest you could get to a real diamond and it is a real sterling silver bracelet and the thing that i really like about this bracelet is that you can wear it with your everyday clothes or kind of like dress it up so it's really versatile and as you can see you can adjust the size um, along with the little links on the side my wrist is pretty small so I think I got like a six inch for the size um, but yeah I'll be sure to leave the discount code that they gave me down below in the description box if you guys are interested in any of their jewelry I highly recommend it it's great quality so definitely check it out they gave me a 25% off code anyways let's go ahead and get into the design so like i said i wanted to do a really cute blinged out set i feel like it complemented the bracelet really nicely and made everything you know go together really well with like all the bling and the sparkles and everything like you can't really do any other kind of set with this bracelet i think it would kind of look weird so yeah i think this was like the perfect idea so right now i'm going in with my primer i applied two coats of mia secret primer and then a base gel because i'm doing a poly gel set i did dehydrate my nails with some isopropyl alcohol and these are the mccart extra long stiletto tips they kind of come pre-shaped so i applied those off camera and now i'm going to be covering up the nail beds with this nude poly gel shade from mccart it's called french press so I'm just covering up the nail beds with this color because I'm doing a glassy set and I don't want my actual nail beds to be showing through because I have like a little bit of pink acrylic on them and I don't know, it wouldn't really look right. So that I kind of just use like as a base to file my nails down when I change them. So I'm using this nude shade to cover up my nail beds so that everything looks really nice and neat once I'm done applying all the glitters and everything on top so i applied a small bead of that um, just over the nail bed area and i'm kind of just brushing it in place and fading it lightly down into the tip i'm removing any excess because i really don't want that color to show up like a lot onto the tip just the nail bed area
Now that the nail beds are covered, I'm gonna be going over the tips of these two nails with this nude rubber base from Madame Glam. It's called Indonesia. It's like a base gel for your nails, a rubber base, which is supposed to be like stronger than regular base gel. It's supposed, it's kind of like a nail strengthener, but I'm using it to paint my nails because it is like nude, almost like a nude jelly color. I'm applying two coats of that so it's a little bit more pigmented, but I really wanted this as a base on these two nails because when I apply my glitters over the top, it makes the gold glitters um, that I apply kind of stand out more because of the nude base. Even though um, the base is very sheer, it just makes a difference. You'll see what I mean when I apply the next two colors. So yeah, the next color that I'm using is called the Crystal Piano. And this is another shade from Madame Glam. It's like a white polish um, with really fine silvery glitters in it. It's freaking gorgeous. I love this color. So I'm applying it to the tip on the other nail and the entire nail on the ring finger and I'm just like curing in between because with Madame Glam polishes um, you want to make sure you cure each layer so that they don't wrinkle up. And now I'm going in with this other shade from Madame Glam. This is one of my favorites. It's just a clear polish with really fine um, iridescent glitters in it. It's called Am I Clear? So I'm brushing it over the tip on the other nail and then over the entire nail on this one. And this one has a lot more golden glitters in it. So like I said, that nude base really makes the gold pop. And for the other two nails, I'm just going to be painting them with the color Am I Clear just over the entire nail because I just wanted a glassy base um, for these two nails. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just a thin layer. This polish is pretty thick, so you really don't need to apply a lot. And now I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails now. The base was really simple, but it came out so pretty. Like, as you can see, after layering all the glitters, like the sparkle is just crazy. And you would think that I put like actual glitters in my nails, but it's all polishes. You guys, this is one way you definitely could get a lot of use out of your gel polishes. Like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I have a lot of gel polishes because, you know, I review a lot of products. So obviously I'm gonna have like a lot of gel polishes, but a way that I get use out of them is to like um, use them with my poly gel sets and like encapsulate them. So yeah, this like layered glitter look I'm really here for it and it's so easy and it looks like you actually did a lot but when you really break it down um, it's not really that much steps um, so yeah and as you can see with the new nail bed it was a good idea because everything looks nice and neat and like everything flows together so pretty um, so yeah we're gonna encapsulate with McCurt clear poly gel of course because they have the glassiest clear poly gel so I just squeeze the poly gel out right onto the nail and then I start patting it in place by the cuticle area that little rounded end that I squeeze out first I use that to start building my apex and then the rest of the poly gel I'm patting side to side down the nail and I'm also like checking my nail from different sides um, before I cure in the lamp to make sure that all the bumps and everything are smoothed out if I have a little bit extra poly gel I'll remove it with the other end of my poly gel brush and I'm just using like a little bit of isopropyl alcohol as a slip solution I use 91% from now on because I noticed when I use um, the 70% or 71% I can't remember like it leaves a little bit of a film on the poly gel and I really hate that but I don't ever get that with 91% um, for some reason so I prefer to just use that from now on I just recommend that because I really hate that little film or that cast that the other one leaves on the nails I could use as much of the 91% as I want and like it never happens
Okay, so moving on to the filing, I'm going to be using my drill at 18,000 RPMs and my fine grit ceramic drill bit to start debulking my nails. I love doing stiletto nails because it's so easy to file them and it takes me so much less time to do stiletto nails than like my regular square or coffin nails because I don't know, I feel like I file them a lot faster, um, especially these pre-shaped ones. These tips are like heaven sent from a cart because you literally don't even have to pre-shape them, honestly. I do a little bit, like just file them up really quick, but it's so much less time than having to shape up my square ones. Um, but yeah, I use this bit to debulk. So I'm going around the cuticle and getting the cuticle nice and flush and then just basically smoothing side to side all the way down the nail and along the sides and underneath, making sure to get the product out from underneath if any got under there. I did accidentally foul off some of the glitter on the ring finger, but it's okay. You don't really notice it in the end because um, I applied bling and everything. Um, but yeah, just be careful with that. I guess I filed a little too much up by the apex area, but I really wanted them to be a certain shape. So yeah, that's why I accidentally filed them off, but it is what it is.
All right, so now I'm gonna take my hand file and shape up the nails. So I'm using a 100, 180 grit as always. And for the stilettos, you just wanna hold your file at an angle and just file in towards the tip of the nail, but making sure you alternate sides frequently. Don't stay on one side for too long because you will have a lopsided nail and it's a lot easier to get a lopsided nail with stilettos. Trust me, I know this. Um, from experience when I first started doing stiletto nails so yeah just keep alternating sides until you're like satisfied with I guess the width and like how sharp the point is if you want a really sharp point just file the tip in a whole lot like really sharp I don't want mine super sharp because then I'm gonna poke holes through all my clothes so I kind of just round off the bottoms of the nails um, so that they're not like super sharp and gonna like stab me even though I still do like poke through my dishwashing gloves and everything but yeah that's just how it is with stiletto nails um, and I do make sure to buff over the nails to make sure that they're nice and smooth and all the scratches are out of them So now I'm going to go ahead and use some Beetles Rhinestone Gel to apply my nail charms. For the bigger ones, I apply the gel directly onto the nail and place the charm into the gel and cure it in place really quick so that it doesn't move around. This gel is a little bit runny so you want to kind of cure right away before it starts sliding all over the place. For the smaller flat backs, I place the um, Rhinestone Gel over the entire nail. I just brush it over the nail then go over that with a top coat apply the flat backs into the gel and then cure in place um, and i do make sure to top coat underneath the nails so that um, you can't see like you know the buffing marks from underneath there it kind of masks that and after all the nails are cured and all the stones are on i do top coat 
over all of the stones um, so that they don't lose their coating. They tend to do that after a while of washing your hands. So to be on the safe side, um, I'm just gonna top coat them. It doesn't really make them lose their cut or anything like that. Just don't go over them with like a big blob of it, if you know what I mean. Just a light layer is fine. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this set. I think they are so pretty and sparkly. I'm obsessed with these. I can't stop staring at the sparkles. Like the camera does not even do these justice. If you've seen my Instagram and TikTok, that's how sparkly they are in real life. Like my camera at home isn't really doing them justice. But yeah, if you see my TikTok, oh my God, it's so pretty how the video came out. But yeah, I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video because I post tutorials and reviews every week so you don't want to miss out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.